guys, it's MJ. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to see you today. And today we are gonna be doing this cute, happy, fun Valentine's Day look. And this video is inspired by Hard Candy Cosmetics. Now this is not that they are paying me for this video. However, they did send me some super fun stuff and I'm so happy for them, but I did buy a majority of this with all money. It is stuff that I purchase regularly. I mean, lipsticks for days for days look at them all they're so pretty but if you are looking for a brand that offers quality at a really good price and has a really wide selection and tons of colors and super fun stuff hard candy is a great place to go and this is a one brand tutorial of hard candy so if you want to see how i got this really happy fun flirty valentine's day look that's totally okay for like anywhere but i think would be really really cute at like I'm too old for high school, but I think this would be adorable at high school and I think you should totally rock it and you should hang out with me and um, just, you know, stay tuned. Also, golden giveaway, still happening. It's my February 2017 giveaway and if you go back like through two or three videos, in my video it says golden giveaway and I'm like, ooh, and it means that I'm giving you stuff, eyeshadow for days. So like, pop back and check that stuff out and uh, I love you guys, thank you. So the first thing that we're gonna be using is the Sheer Envy Lift and Firm Primer. This is really nice for all skin types and it's nice and sheer. So we're just gonna take this and we're gonna press it into all of our skin. Next we're gonna be using the Sheer Envy Instant Eye Fix. I am using, I think this is the only shade they have. I didn't see a darker shade, but it's got this really like cool metal tip on it and it's supposed to soothe your under eye. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of product, squeeze it out and put it all over my under eye and on this big old sucker right down here. With half a beauty blender, I cut one in half for this specific purpose. I'm just gonna tap. Now using Glamouflage, in ivory this is their invisible camouflage foundation it's supposed to be super full coverage i seem to find it a little bit medium coverage but i'm going to squeeze some on the back of my hand and i'm going to just take a drop of a beauty oil this is the maracuja oil from tarte i know it's an all one brand tutorial but i did not find a beauty oil with them at my local walmart but i think they might actually have one this is lighter than what i should be for a foundation but i like to warm it up afterwards Speaking of warming things up, we're gonna be using one of their new products. This is the Cheeky Tints. This is supposed to be a bronzer, but you can use it as a blush. It is the shade Goddess. It looks so dark on your finger, but then I'm just gonna spread it around. It does dry super fast. You just kind of gotta get in there. So what I do is I, like you may even wanna do this if you have skin that really soaks product up you might wanna do this like one cheek at a time. The only thing I'll say about their cheeky tints is they tend to be almost a little too intense, so I am gonna go back in with just a little bit of the Glamouflage. Now using their Ombre Baked Blush Glow All The Way, in sunburst which is this really pretty like peachy pink with a yellow ombre highlight i'm gonna pick this up on a floofy fluffy brush and i'm gonna get more of the pink to start and tap it on the apples of my cheek i really do want this to be like a happy cute look so I wanna diffuse everything. I don't want any hard lines. I don't want anything sharp on my face. I did start my eyebrows already and I am using the Top 10 Satin Eyeshadow Collection in Rich and Famous. I used the 
medium to dark brown on the end of it and I used just an angled brush and filled in my eyebrows with it. I normally use eyebrow ink um, or pens, liquid products to do my eyebrows, but this actually worked really, really nicely. So let's get started with our eye. I'm using the Eye Def Pencil. This is their Chrome Eyeshadow. This is their silvery one. Now when I got it, the silver tip was broken off and I needed to use a lighter to like put it back together. We're also gonna be using their Fierce Effects. This is their pressed pigment high intensity eyeshadow in heart and soul i have a little life hack for you guys this was a little too powdery for me so what i ended up doing and this is kind of super cool is i made this shadow a like a eyeshadow gloss put a couple of drops of a mineral oil in here and now it's got this like jelly consistency to it. I'm going to pick some of this up on a flat brush and this is a paint brush but the bristles are super soft and it's clean ish and I'm going to take this and pat it all over my mobile eyelid. Speaking of pink and speaking of highlights, we're going to be using their 24 karat glow all the way. This is the doll face pink color. I just squirted a little bit on my fingers, which are still really stained from the liquid blush. And just going to tap it on. So I stepped off camera and put on some super cute little lashes. Um, by the way, can I show you the most adorable thing ever? So I was at Hobby Lobby with my mom and one of our girlfriends and they had this little case. It opens on both sides and it's got perfect spaces for storing my lashes in. It was like $3. I mean, it's phenomenal, phenomenal. And it's got little spots for my glue. Look at this. Glue and like excessively large lashes that only Sparkles wears. And then if I flip it over, it's all my little lash buddies. Oh, and an escapee. Get back in there. That's where you live now. Thank you. I love this. So I have, as you guys may know, many woo, escapees, many the hard candy lip colors, many of them. I have got everything from their Trolls lipsticks to metallic lipsticks to blues and purples and blacks and just everything. I'm crazy on the hard candy lipsticks. They're my favorite. But the inspiration for this video was a little gift that I was sent. These are the Blooming Lip Oils in Zen Strawberry and Calming Peach. We're going to use these guys today because they're amazing. Oh my god. Texture and color and long lasting and smell and just whoa. I love these. So we're gonna take Calming Peach and we're gonna do Calming Peach on the inside of our lips. And we're gonna take Zen Strawberry, which is their pinky color, which is my go-to purse one, like I have three. I have one that they sent me, one that I bought, and then I have another one that I keep in my purse. And we've done that on the outside of our lips. Now, I feel like I'm missing something. I feel like I'm missing something teeny, teeny, tiny. But I bet I know what it is. 
I'll bet it's glitter. Because if you don't have glitter on, you're always missing something. So I'm gonna take a little poof of this Trolls glitter. And this is from their Trolls collection. This is one of their ice glitters. glitter lip that is the perfect level of adorable for this look so what I want you to do for me is if you have tried out hard candy and any of their products I want you to tell me what your favorite hard candy product is favorite product and I want you to tell me that in the comments and then if you guys could pop over to my Instagram there's some fun stuff going on over there, including a few videos back from right now, the golden giveaway for February, and it's got eyeshadows galore, and some of them might even be hard candy. Ooh. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you rock a cute little pink, happy, sparkly, just, it's Valentine's Day. Feel the love, people. Get some love up in here. But uh, pop on your little white bows or pink bows or black bows, whatever bow you like. Bows are perfect in every color. Let me know what you thought about this video. Let me know what you'd like to see. And uh, thanks for stopping by. I love you guys. This tutorial just messed up my desk. I have been keeping this box of hard candy stuff separate from all of my other makeup for probably, oh hey, it's me, hi, um, for like two weeks now, just getting ready for it, and uh, Finding Dormy, by the way, is on Netflix. Not sponsored, I just thought you should know that. And Pat Oswald, because he's beautiful, I would marry him if I wasn't already married. Or if he just like wants to hop in on this and make it like three people in this relationship, we'll totally do that. But um. Thank you for coming by, my friends, and uh, what is your hoarding problem? Because apparently mine is lipstick. <laughs>